My name is Michael Dienst. Uh, I'm an orthopedic surgeon uh, practicing in, in Munich at the uh, OCM. It's an orthopedic surgery institute in Munich. And um, my specialty is um, um, everything about the hip is like arthroscopic, open joint preserving, and of course, replacement surgery. So I, I cover the whole hip joint. So actually, you could say I'm a hip surgeon. The decision to, 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 to study medicine, to go to medical school was, I don't know, I always liked science a little bit. Um, uh, so dealing with people and uh, so I was interested in sports. So probably the, the whole combination and finally uh, was leading to my decision also to go into orthopedics to deal with athletes. And so it's, I don't know, I think it's a, Medicine, especially surgery, is, I think it's a great mixture of everything, like thinking, dealing with people, using your hands to, to operate, to do things, and I think it's a, it's a great profession. I, I would not say there was, there was somebody who was inspiring me to, to, to be a surgeon. Um, I, I, I did my internship in trauma surgery and then I went to a university facility for orthopedic surgery and um, there was so much experience, it was in 97, there was so much experience in the knee joint and the shoulder joint, arthroscopic surgery of the knee and the shoulder at that time already was, I would say, relatively advanced. but. The hip joint was just, I mean, I saw a few uh, hip arthroscopies and I was so uh, astonished that there was such a huge difference in terms of quality and precision in the knee shoulder on one hand and on the other side in the hip joint. So this was probably for me the uh, ignition to start with the hip and I already started with that in my, uh, year, my second year as a resident. So, and uh, that was really uh, a great time, just was a great opportunity to start with that very early in my career. No, not like, a, uh, I don't want to say that the pioneers were others like uh, Ricky Villa, Thomas Bird, and uh, all the other guys that were the pioneers. I don't feel like a pioneer. I was just interested, and uh, um, there were not so were not so many hip arthroscopists in Germany I, at that time. Uh, I don't know if there was really one. So uh, I just stepped into this little, I don't know, how do you call this? A little field or little piece what was not covered in our area. So and uh, I traveled around the next couple of years. I visited all those big guys, the pioneers. Uh, I was spent some time with Ricky, with Tom. I spent some time with the French arthroscopist Henri Dorfmann and uh, wanted to, to see how the others are doing that. And then I tried try to, to bring that to, to Germany and to continental Europe. And it uh, was very difficult in the beginning. Um, there were so many People, so many surgeons saying, ah, oh, arthroscopy off the hip, that's just a waste of time. And uh, let's directly go for replacement or maybe open surgery. But uh, I mean, it's, you have to be patient. And I think the development the past 15 years showed us the opposite. It's still exciting. I mean, it's, we are, I mean, um, if you compare the hip with the knee or the shoulder, I think we are still 10, 15 years behind. I mean, if you look back to the knee or the shoulder, it's 15 years ago and uh, compare that with today, it's a completely different issue. I think in the hip joint, we will, the next 10, 20 years, we will, we will find so many new pathologies or we will improve the understanding of the hip that's, uh, uh, where are we right now? I mean, we do some, we, we improve our patients, we, we, we reduce pain, we improve function, but uh, there are no studies yet that prove that what we are doing will 
stop or will slow down uh, degeneration or osteoarthritis. So there's so much to, to do and there's, I think, there will be so many things which are coming up in the next decade. It's, if you just look at the Congress here in, in Cambridge, it's there are so many things people are interested in, it's, it's crazy. So it's a, it's a great opportunity to, and uh, I think it's a great honor to be in this, in this uh, evolving field. It's just, that's perfect. Basically, I would say my career, I don't really regret something. Um, uh, maybe I would say in the uh, early phase of my open hip experience, open hip preserving experience, for example, I started with the surgical dislocation as my first tool to treat FAI. Maybe I was uh, in the early phase too aggressive in terms of uh, when the joint was already too de degenerative to do a um, surgical dislocation. I think right now I would definitely go with arthroscopy and also for those patients who have already some secondary osteoarthritis, I would prefer to do it with a scope and not with the surgical dislocations. But uh, basically I would say I don't have any major regrets. I would tell him, be patient, take your time. Don't be frustrated in the beginning. It's, uh, you have to be uh, pertinent, you have to be steady, you have to be strong, you have to, it's the, the first, the first year when, I mean, you see it with the fellows or with the, with the residents, it's, it's, it's very difficult in the beginning to, to, to orient, to triangulate in that joint, so it, uh, it takes a while before you feel comfortable to know where you are, how to get into the joint, and uh, so it's, uh, that's, one side, of course, uh, that you need to be patient and take your time before you get to a certain level to get through this early phase of the flat learning curve. And um, of course, I mean, it's there are other, many other recommendations which are important and uh, get cadaver experience and, uh, and real training before you do it by yourself. That's most important. I mean, you cannot learn to scope a hip joint without proper training. That's, so you have to do a year of fellowship or special training before you start that by yourself. Also, this is the same with open preserving surgery. Also, those open cases are uh, difficult and technically demanding. So it's, uh, it's not like replacement surgery. It's every case is different and uh, so it takes a while.